welcome to its traffic in this video we are going to study about arrays in c array is a type of variable in c programming which can store a set of same type of data or information like here i have declared an integer array at first same as we declare variable we'll declare array also same way first we'll write the type what type of information i am going to store inside the array so here int it will store integer values and after that we'll write the name of the array here name of the array is arr and within square bracket we'll write the size means how many elements we are going to store inside the array now what are array elements <clears throat> the number of inform data that can contain inside an array or the number of values that can contain inside an array is known as size of the array so here the size of the array is 5 that means this array can store 5 elements now the elements are we can initialize as within curly braces here i have initialized 12 15 13 18 14 now here you will see these are the elements 12 15 13 18 and 14 and the index index are will be 0 1 2 3 4 remember the array index always start from 0 and the element name will be arr within square bracket 0 then arr 2 uh, arr 1 2 3 4 and the first index will be the 0 1 and the last one is 4 so let's see how we can do it in a program suppose the same array we have to define and we have to <coughs> initialize the value and display the values how we'll do it so first uh, we'll write our necessary names like header file stdio.h then we'll have a main function int main after the main function within curly braces we are going to write the uh, main program here we will re return 0 also let's write it before only so before return 0 we are going to write uh, define an array our array name is arr so first the type of the array which is integer and the name now arr and within square bracket we will define the size size suppose it is 5 so arr 5 and equal within curly braces we are going to define the values suppose it's 12 13 then 18 14 and 16 these are the values of the array now we are we want to print the values of the array so we can write printf statement and just here we'll write percent d and the value of the which uh, index i am going to display if i want to display the first number then we'll have to write a r r this is name of the array then within square bracket the index if i want to display the first one then zero now let's see it should display the uh, output as 12 So you can see here 12 so this one by one we can display the values if i want to display the last value of the array so we are going to write printf statement once again so here we'll write it 4 so you can see here 12 and 15 now if i want to display all the values together then what we'll do as you know here we are uh, repeating same statement again and again so we are going to use loop to repeat the same statement for multiple times so here we'll need one another variable int i now we'll write a for loop for i equal 0 because array index start from 0 i less than 
5 then i plus plus then within the for loop we will write printf statement and within bracket we are going to write percent d then comma and now I am going to write the location of the array which will be arr and within square bracket i means the value of the i at the first line the value of i will be 0 means arr 0 next time it will be 1 and like that it will go on now let's see if I run this program it should display 12 13 18 14 15 so these are the answers now sometimes this question may arise in your mind can we store only integer values inside an array the answer will be no we can inside we can insert any type of information or data inside an array but that data should be same type if my array is integer array then it will it can store only integer values if my array is character array then it can store only character if my array is a uh, floating point array then it can store only real numbers now if i want to display the index and elements uh, values together then what we are going to do so first we have to uh, so the name of the array elements so it will be arr then within square bracket percent d then equal the value is percent d so here within percent d we just have to display one so we'll write uh, 0 1 like that so we'll write i and the next percent it should display the value so we will write arr i and after this percent d we will also add a new line now let's see so this way array 0 index it is 12 array 1 index 13 and the last one array 4 it is 15 now how will take input from the user to the array as here i have defined myself only the values to the array now suppose i have to take from the user so how how we will do it so first we'll initialize or we'll declare the array after that we'll take one more variable for counter and this for loop is required only and here this printf statement will remove from here and add another printf statement here we'll write enter the elements means a r r then percent d element of the array then this percentage d will be i so we'll write it as i now we have to scan the number so we will write scan it and within here it is just percent d and we are going to store store inside arr i so now let's see whether it's work or not so it asking me to enter the arr zero element of the array and uh, we also have to use one new line character here so first element suppose i am writing 12 second element i am writing 13 then 14 then 15 then 18 arr fourth element this is the last one so just it collecting the input but it does not display any output now if we want to display the values of the array so we have to use another for loop so we we'll write 4 i equal 0 because uh, index start from 0 i less than 5 then i plus plus and inside it if just we want to display the value not the element name then we will write just percent d 
then we can give a slash t or comma or a new line whatever suppose i am just giving one space then the value will, value is stored in arr i then semicolon now let's see it asking me to enter the values so 12 15 16 17 then 14 so these are the values i have entered 12 15 16 17 14 so this way we can take the input or take the values to the array from user in next video we'll learn some other programming programs uh, and we'll do some other programs programs by using array for today's video this much only i hope you have understood the concept of array and uh, what is it it is a type of vari uh, variable which can store a uh, same type of information thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye